So the judge inside of the NBA young boy case, of course, they were throwing out a whole lot of the evidence. A lot of people was extremely happy due to the evidence that they were throwing out. Uh, I believe they threw out like some little microchip that had like a lot of videos on it, allegedly of him with guns that if they were able to use that, it would have really affected his case. Now, they also threw out the video, the Chopper City video that everybody's been saying release everybody wants really bad. However, uh, that video, he was seen in that video, allegedly holding up a gun, throwing it up and down and the fact that they you know it was declared that they wouldn't be able to use it was a humongous win for the case of NBA young boy well now reports are coming out that they will unfortunately be using that video on you know, some of this evidence and we'll get right into that right after the intro check it out man all right key talk society go ahead and like the video for me so we can hit the algorithm and we can get the story started anyways so yes you know this is terrible news for nba young boy uh they will be now using that video uh that you know the chopper city video so pretty much once the judge threw it out the prosecutors and their whole side over there was able to appeal the fact that they threw that out and with the appeals it may go to a higher court and then a higher court is able to say okay you know what we agree with this ruling or no 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 we gonna go ahead and let them use this video which is what they did now this is a dent you know, I'm talking about uh, for NBA young boy squad, his team, the defense. But, you know, with his the lawyers that he got, obviously they're going to be million dollar lawyers. So hopefully there's some way they can get around this. They still have to prove that that's NBA young boy. It just uses evidence because they're saying, hey, we think this is NBA young boy right now. Now, with the evidence, you know, they will have to prove, yeah, this is 100 percent him. And they also going to have to prove that it's not a, um, a uh, not a toy gun. But, yeah, like a toy gun. You know, I'm talking about an airsoft gun, a BB gun, not a real gun. So, you know, that's going to be up to them to do that. And without that microchip that got a lot of the other videos on there, maybe they won't be able to do that. But we'll just see how it goes. Just a quick video letting y'all know an update on the case of NBA Youngboy. You already know. So I made a video about a few, three months ago about Rock Ken, who was actually arrested. Uh, they allegedly said he had murdered his friend now i don't know if that case got thrown away or not but for a case of burglary they just sent his buddy to 20 years you know what i'm talking about 20 years for burglary with a firearm you know what i'm talking about so uh maybe that's a call aggravated but either way it goes 20 years for burglary with a firearm that's insane you know what i'm talking about and they're saying that that happened back in like 2012 or something like that now the thing about it is this right he got the 20 years so now he's actually posted up in jail but while he's in jail he actually took a picture inside of jail with the other goons that are actually inside of there maybe they're the same gang as he's in and he pretty much made a status bragging was like you think i'm lying in my raps come figure me out and he got a casket there and say free the red so He's definitely got a whole lot of street credit and that street credit and the money that he got from the rap will travel over uh, into the jail cell where he's at. So he'll have some clout inside the jail and some status inside of there as well. So he'll probably, you know, somebody call some shots or something like that. But the crazy part about it is, you know, I'm talking a lot of people in the comment section like what in the blue hell is Buddy bragging about that he's locked up because he crashed out. But hey, man, listen, when you live in the street life, you know, I'm talking about the screen, you in the streets, you live by different rules. You know, I'm talking about you got different standards different ethics different morals different things that you see as successful within what you're doing and, and you know just it is what it is so if you're not in that lifestyle you won't understand it but if you're on a lifestyle then you know i ain't saying this is good but i mean it's something that obviously if if, if he posting like that about it he ain't giving he ain't caring too much about it right now who knows maybe he got some of his sleeve he is a rapper he got money i'm talking about so maybe it's going to be some type of appeal that they'll be able to do or something that they'll be able to do to get him out before that 20 years you know what i'm talking about but anyways, let me know some coming out below. Let me know what you think about this entire deal. I'm out.